Hi, I'm Daniel Foley from the Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily communion meditation, where today we're talking about taking and accounting. So this month in September of 2022, we're doing a challenge, a financial stewardship challenge to become both highly skilled and consistent at managing and multiplying all that God has entrusted to us. And so one of our first steps, we're getting started here this month, one of our first steps is to take an accounting. What is God entrusted to us? What do we have? Where are we starting from? We need to establish where we're starting from right now so we can begin to track progress. And so one of the first steps I want us to take is sometime in the next couple of days, we've got a long weekend coming up, sometime in the next couple of days, if you don't have this already, let's get an accounting. What are your assets and your liabilities? What are the amounts you have in your different bank accounts? What are the financial assets you have, like house, car, property, uh, assets in different accounts? What are the liabilities that you have? Maybe debts that you owe or other liabilities that you have. So let's get an accounting of those things first. Let's look at the resources that we have available. Look at those resources that you have available. And then I also want to start to develop a projected list for this month the month of September of 22, a projected list of the, the forecasted expenses and the forecasted income that you're, you're thinking is going to be coming in. Now, it's never going to play out exactly like you forecasted, like you thought there's going to be maybe unexpected expenses or unexpected income. But I want you to list the things that you know. We talk a lot about doing what you know to do. And so we're going to create just a simple, you can create on a simple spreadsheet or a piece of paper your assets, your liabilities, the resources that you have. And then we're also going to look at the expenses and the estimated income that you've got coming in over the next month, because that's going to allow us to steward these finances in a much better way. And so, so for some of you, this may seem a little daunting. For some people, you talk, start talking about financial accounting and these types of things, their eyes begin to kind of glaze over and they don't want to do it. This might be a new thing for a lot of people. Is we're going to be taking communion today. Asking for God's help with this. Because if we want to be good stewards, we've got to know what we have. You know, we look in the parable of the stewards. One of the first steps, it shows what they were entrusted with. One guy had five. Another guy had two. Another guy had one. They knew exactly what they were given. And so, Heavenly Father, we're going to do a little shorter communion today. Just because I want, I want to put an emphasis on action today. Heavenly Father, we're asking for your help. That you would help us get a true accounting of what you've entrusted to us. The resources that we have available, the estimated income and expenses of what we're where we are right now. So we can track and we can get feedback and we can manage, we can multiply what you have entrusted to us. And we're asking for your help with that today. Let's just take a moment. Usually we talk about our four fundamentals on here. Just four fundamentals every day. How are we doing in our four fundamentals? How are we doing being thankful? How are we doing being thankful? Because when we're thankful, it positions us into the light. Let's start giving gratitude for this accounting. What are we magnifying? Our second fundamental, what are we magnifying? What are we focused on? Where's our focus and our attention? Are we focusing on venting and complaining and pouting, toiling within our mind, trying to figure everything out, focusing on the problems? Or are we on the other side? Are we magnifying God, praising him for who he is, praising him for all that he's done in our lives? Our third fundamental, how are we, how are we doing staying tuned in to him today? You get positioned in the light, he's going to give you some leading and direction for your life. It's going to give you some some different symptoms in your life. You're going to feel the peace and the joy and the love and the spirit and the power. And if we ever get off track, he gives us this amazing gift. We can just turn it right back around, get back into the light again. It just takes a couple seconds. And then we're going to stay tuned in to him today, following his leading. Because part of this stewardship challenge is going to be having the ability to tune into him. Because we're going to follow his leading and direction with our finances and our resources. We've got to be able to tune into him. We have to take that to a new level. Just tuning in to him today. And then we're going to be work on taking action on what we know to do. All these steps apply into finances. 
Staying positioned in the light, magnifying the right thing, staying tuned into the master's leading. And then taking action, doing those things that we know to do. Just taking a moment to examine ourselves. How are we doing in those areas? And Father, I thank you that the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread. He said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's take a moment to remember God sent us his one and only son. All of us like sheep had gone astray. We'd all turned to our own ways. And he laid upon him the sins and the iniquities of us all. And by his stripes we've been healed. He's released us from darkness, transferred us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. His body was broken so that we could be connected. We could have this personal relationship with God. Think about it. As his body is broken. Symbolic of the old is being done away with. Letting go of the old. As we're asking for God's help today, we're asking for this, this new way of living. Just becoming amazing, disciplined stewards who are trustworthy. So Father, we thank you for this bread. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. It's the forgiveness of sins that releases us from darkness. He transfers us into the light. Into the kingdom of Jesus. He's a great king. His blood washes us and cleanses us. Makes us new. Gives us this new covenant with God. This blood sworn oath God is with us and for us. He's working for our good. He wants to do this together with us. And really finances are just a little thing. Jesus said they're a little thing. If you can't be trusted with those, how can you be trusted with other things? Father, we just thank you that you're helping us to get this right. Do it the way you intended us to. We ask you to bless this cup in Jesus' name. If you have your juice, you can take your juice. All right. As we're on the topic of accounting, let's do a little accounting of our health. Normally we talk about some health and fitness tips. Let's do a little of accounting with, with our health. Let's just start giving gratitude for the areas of health that are going well. Let's start ramping up our gratitude and magnifying those things in the area of our health. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to learn more about partnering with us in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.